All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, we'd like to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to our power. Yahweh, Yahweh, the boss to the head, elders, and apostles, a great millstone who rule and teach well. Also, giving a shout out there to the whole elect. Your argument, if you are quite close to sin, and it's true, as well as believers of this word, not just believers, but those as well. And again, you, we like to say shalom. Shalom. <clears throat> All right, man. Just another quick lesson through the spirit of power. You how about some y'all was Lord willing, it's edifying. You know, but as you see, the title of this lesson is A Breach Ready to Fall. You know, and uh, the spirit had it on us to, you know, kind of go into this lesson because as you see in the prophecies pop off, man, you know, that, that piling up, you know, the, 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 the famine, the pestilence, you know, the, the love of many waxing cold. All of these things are piling up, man. And it says, uh, what? A breach ready to fall, man. You see? But mainly towards you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. The, the, the times we're going into are bad times. The time is what? Jacob's trouble, man. You see? And I'm going to start right here in the book of Isaiah, uh, chapter 30 and verse 9. It says that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Which say to seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. And that's what you niggas want, man. You want the prophets, starting with our head elders and apostles, a great millstone on down, you know, as well as the light-minded brothers, you know, who teach the same doctrine. You want us to prophesy unto you good things, man. You see? But no, it, it's nothing good to come to this kingdom. Baba Gosha, one of you I can get on uh, Ezekiel 7 and 5 real quick. You know, it, it's nothing good coming to this kingdom. So therefore, it's nothing good to, to, to say to you, man. I got it. You know, and when you go into the word prophesy, it, it's, it's meaning to say before, man. You see? So anything that's about to come here. Again, nothing good is about to happen, man. You got it out. It's Ezekiel 7 and 5. Thus said the Lord, God, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushah, and yep. evil and only evil, behold, is come. So evil and only evil, behold, is coming. That word behold, which goes into look, you see? Evil and only evil, man. Bad times are ahead, man. That's what's to come to this place, man. You see? Look at the prophecies. You know, consider the times that we're in, man. You know, you got it up. Verse 6. And evil is come, the end is come. It watching for thee, behold, it is come. Yep, and it said it's watching for thee. So it's watching you, man. Because what? It had already played in the spirit realm. You see? Esau already been taken down. But now here it has to play right here on earth, man. You see? And that's what's about to happen, man. Prophecy is about to, it's taking his whole his hand. Upon the planet Earth right now, prophecy is taking hold upon the planet Earth, man. You see, you got a brother. Uh, this <clears throat> second, that's uh, second Timothy three and one. It says, "This know also that in the last days, perilous count, perilous times shall come." You know, and just laying back on what the brother was saying, this is the season that we are in, man. We're in the season of perilous times, man. When you go into that word perilous, it means dangerous. Uh, fraught with danger, unsafe, you know, and difficult. So these are unsafe and difficult times that we are coming into, man. You know, look, man, we see this devil Esau. You know, he's turning up, man, on the left hand side, man. You know, so those of us that are in the know, you know, those of us that had this report, we are to prep to prepare for these things, man. Prepare for these times, man. That's why it's important that we have your Habashimao Shah on the right hand side to protect us from these dangers which is said to come, man. Mm -hmm. But it says this know also that perilous times shall come. You know, when you go into the word perilous, it means dangerous, man. So dangerous yeah. times are coming. You got it out. Oh, okay, come you got yeah, it. Um, um, got it um Ezekiel 13 and um 6. How ye for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction. From the Almighty. Mm, beautiful. You got it, bro. Yeah, see? Like, just bad the brothers up, man. The Lord even to bring destruction into this place, man. Yep. And, you know, when we just came out of Pride Month, niggas was just celebrating the 4th. And you seen, you know, just a small, you know, um, yeah. just a small sign of what the Lord doing. He had fireworks blowing up in people, you know, right in people's faces, man. Had a whole truck blow up with fireworks, man. The Lord... 
finna bring those real fireworks with all those nukes. <clears throat> you know, continuing on, verse 7 say, Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. Because it's going to be some real serious times right here, man. Apparitions. You know, it's going to be famines. You know, pestilence. But, but you got it all. Consider the times, man. You are in the time of Jacob's trouble, man. With you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You're going to be tested, man. Everybody's going to be tested. You know, it's going to come down to a point where you're going to have to choose which God you actually serve, man. You know, with this Karagma being pushed in the forefront, man. Because that's the that's the forefront of our message, man. The Karagma. It's either you're going to succumb to your have uh, I mean, to your have Shemal Shah, you're going to worship your have Shemal Shah, or you're going to worship the devil, Esau Edom, you know, the so-called white man that the devil speaks of, man. You know, that's where you at now. It's, you are at the point where decisions are going to be, are going to have to be made, man. You know? <clears throat> Let me get this real quick. Right. <clears throat> the second edge of 716, why has that not considered in that mind this thing that is to come? Rather than what is, pr rather than that which is present, and that's what you should consider in your mind. This thing, what's to come, man? You know, and one thing to come is what the kingdom of heaven. But before the kingdom of heaven, what what gotta happen? You know, prophecy, prophecy gotta happen. You see, and like the brother was speaking on the Karagma, man. You know, you should be hoping on Yahweh Bashmi. I was trying to keep you from the hour of the temptation, man, to what's to come. You know, because the Lord said He's gonna keep His servant from the hour of temptation, man. You see, you know, but see, you should be considered, <clears throat> you know, this, this is something you should consider, man. Huh? You see, but, um, you had some, you had some. Yeah, I had a quick one. Go ahead. Yeah, the bad brother, like I said, the Lord, he going to come, he going to try all for us. <clears throat> and this, um, Isaiah 66 and 16, for by fire and by his sword, will the Lord plead with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. And that's like the brother was saying. That's why we got to pray and hope that the Lord keep us in the hour of temptation. Because he's going to try all flesh. You know? Yeah. But the difference is, we got these scriptures to yeah. fall back on. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know? But see, that's um, going back to you so-called blacks, Latino, Native Americans. <clears throat> you niggas don't consider this. You see? You don't consider these scriptures, man. You don't. Like we read in on the ninth verse, Isaiah 39. That this is a rebellious people. Baba Kashar, one of you brothers get that word rebellious real quick. A lot of children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which is this whole book entirety. That is the law right now, man. You see? This whole book entirety, eating the whole roll, man. Because you're going to need it. What is that? Wisdom not should be the stability of that times, man. Come on. You see? Get that word rebellious. Just a simple Google definition of rebellious. It's a showing a desire to resist authority, that's it. control, or convention. Mm -hmm. That's it. But he say it's showing you showing a, a desire. You desire yeah. to to you know not serve your house by Shemal Shah. You yeah. love your weakness. It said resist a, a, a authority because what we know Jake is out of fucking order, man. Jake don't like order, man. You see a desire to re resist authority, man. So therefore, something is not right with you if you resist authority, man. You see? And that's the problem with Jake, man. That's why the Lord said that this is a rebellious people, man. You niggas rebellious, man. Here it is. The Lord has set up men over you, you know, to guide you, you know, to give you this understanding, which ultimately those men have the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah on them because what? They come into the spirit of what? They are a prophecy. The testimony of Yahweh Shah, again, which is prophecy, man. You see? But you niggas resist that, man. You know, you had some. Yeah. You got I got no, I just had a couple similar words, but like you just saying, that just show um that just show how much how loving the Lord is, because the prophet, that's a sign of compassion. And you steadily, you know, turning your turning your back. But um a couple of similar words for um, rebellion say defiant, disobedient, insubordinate, unruly, ungovernable. But the uh, definition for insubordinate, you say defiant of authority, defiant to orders. Yeah, man. <laughs> defiant to orders, man. They're going back. Again, Jake is out of order. The Lord brought that. Now nah, he brought that point right there. He going to make his point, man. You see? You niggas don't like order, man. And that's a problem, man. 
But I'm going to continue in Isaiah 30 and 11. It says, get you out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Wherefore, thus said the, the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverse, perverseness and stay thereon, therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, who's breaking coming suddenly at an instant, man. You know, and there it is, a breach ready to fall. All this iniquity that you have, it's eventually, it, it's, it's going to lead you to fucking death, man. Because what? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is on his way back, and we see a prophecy play out. Niggas getting knocked off every day, man. <laughs> what is that? Niggas die every day, big. You see? You just you know? have, so like I say, man, you just had a cop shot a nigga 60 times, man. Yeah, that's judgment of the Lord. You know? Ain't no telling what that nigga did in his past life, man. You, you got it, bro. All right, this is all right. Ecclesiastes 5 yeah. and 7. It says, yeah. make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shah, yep. and put not off from day to day. For mm. suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security... Thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Now, if I may say, for suddenly, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Hey, see, see, suddenly, your iniquity, again, going back, a breach ready to fall, man. You see? Mm -hmm. Your iniquity is going to end, man. The Lord is going to come get you in your security, man. When you think you got it, you good, you safe and sound. This when the Lord going to, he going he to goddamn throw down on your ass, man. You know? So, this, again, this, this is the time to repent, man. Come back to y'all about some y'all was shot. Because you niggas is not going to be doing this forever, man. Again, a breach ready to fall, man. Bible can shot get second edge of nine. If y'all got something, bring it out. Second edge of nine and one. Okay. It's the book of second edge, chapter nine, verse one. He answered me then and said, measure the other time diligently yep. in itself. Uh-huh. Measured out of time digitally in itself. Because what? This this we seeing prophecy play out. We seeing the, the pestilence. You know, the domino effect actually. We're seeing it happen. One thing is leading to another, man. You see? That was that the goddamn um uh, the shit the chickens got the, the the bird flu, some shit like that. That that that's gonna lead to a famine. Mm -hmm. You see? That's a pestilence. Well, uh, that's a, a fucking pestilence. That the animals have that's gonna lead to a famine, man. Yep. You see, one thing lead to another. You see, and what that famine gonna lead to? Uh, uproars of the people. Cannibalism. Cannibalism. You know what I mean? The love of many waxing cold. Invading one another. Invading one another for what? The lack of like bread? bread. You see, all that's gonna lead to that, man. You know, so you can you can goddamn you can keep. Dwelling in your fucking wickedness, man. You know, and, hey, excuse my language, but what the script say? Hey, uh, though I be rude in speech, but not in knowledge? Mm -hmm. Because Israel, you're hard-headed. You're very, very hard-headed, man. You can't tell you. I can't pat you on the back and tell you nice no more. You know, hey, brother, repent. No, I got to say, nigga, fucking repent, man. The Lord going to kill you, man. Thus said the Lord, Jay. Because you niggas don't like to listen. Again, like I mentioned, you niggas are out of order, you know, and your house shot deals with order. You resist the law, which again, this whole book in its entirety, you know, and you refuse to seek after the man of the Lord who the Lord has set up, man. You got it, brother. But it's Romans 3 and 3. It says, for what if some did not believe? Yep. Shall their unbelief make the faith of the most high without effect? And if I may say, you know, like the brother brought out, what is some not believe? Now, don't get it fucking twisted. We ain't here for all Israel, man. The message ain't going out for all Israel. The Lord is going to seal his elect. So, therefore, if you don't believe, it's not going to change prophecy. We just hear the aid hey, to tell you your damn lot through the spirit of power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. If you don't repent, you're going to fucking die. But if you do, then call on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You got a chance of salvation. You got a chance of entering on the chariots, man. You know? You got a chance of, uh, uh, you could be of the elect if you endure to the end, you see? But again, if you don't believe, that's not going to change, it's not going to change the vision. 
It's not going to change what's going to happen to Babylon the Great. So like if I may say, it's not going to change the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. Yep. It's not going to change. Yahweh Bashem Yahusha has already predestinated the fall of America, man, from the foundations of the earth, man. Yep. He's already predestinated that, man. And that's not going to change. He's already decreed that. That's been decreed through the foundations, before the foundations of the earth, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Babylon, so, so like, you guys, go ahead. Babylon has her lot. Mm -hmm. She has her lot. You can't change her lot, man. You know? And her lot is to, at the end of the day to be destroyed and thrown down, man. Come sit in the dust. Over and all of Babylon, man. You know? That's her fucking lot at the end of the day. Because what? That's prophecy. That's thus said the Lord, man. You know? And what the scripture said? He a man that he shall lie? We know Yahweh was shot telling the truth. We're seeing the play out right before our face, man. You see? Oh, you had some? Yeah, I just had a quick one. You know, whether they, um, this is um, Ezekiel 2 and 7. And thou shalt speak my words unto them. Whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for mm -hmm. they are most rebellious. Yep. Mm -hmm. So Lord mm -hmm. said he's gonna speak his word, we're gonna speak his word unto them for whether they will hear or they will forbear, whether they turn the, sh the hand, the shoulder, whatever, because at the end of the day, what? We're getting the blood off our hands. Because what? We understand that we have iniquities as well from our past lives, man. Even time now, brothers go off in the flesh, but what we do, we repent. You know, and we love the Lord, and we say, Ye love me, feed my sheep. And another thing is that 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 love is, is more of a, a commitment and an action, man, than you just verbally saying it. You got to show the Lord that you love him by what? Walking in his ways, man. Keeping the law, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability. Getting right, man. You see? You got it, brother. This Ecclesiastical Sirach 35 and 17, it says, The prayer of the humble pierces the, pierce the clouds until it come nigh. He will not be conformed. He, he will not be comforted and will not depart till the Most High shall be shall behold to judge righteously and execute judgment. You know, so you have by Shema Shah, he hears the prayers of the righteous, man. You know, if you're walking in the ways of Yahweh by Shema Shah, ultimately Yahweh by Shema Shah hears your prayers, man. You know, he's only hearing the prayers of the elect. In these times, man, because the elect is the ones ultimately crying and sighing and crying for the abominations that be done, man, in the midst thereof, man. You know, he's hearing those cries. When we say Yahweh Shmuel Shah short in these days, Yahweh Shmuel Shah he honors that, man. You know, because that's in his will. That's in his will. That's in his will. You know? That's in his yep. will. When we ask the Lord to destroy. Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, you have, uh, Lord will, you know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shema Shah, he hearkens unto that, man, because right. that's in the will of Yahweh Shema Shah. You know, you got it. You got something, bro? No, yeah, you got it. I'll go ahead. You know, uh, you got something else out? Yep, but in these hard, these last times, you know, we coming into, man, uh, 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 you got something? Okay, yeah, bring it up. Uh, just to finish this out, this Romans 3 and 3, it says, for what if some did not believe? Mm-hmm. Shall their make shall the unbelief shall the unbelief make the faith of the most high without effect? The most high forbid. Yea, let the most high be true, and every man a liar, as it is written, that thou that thou mightest be that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged, you know. So you how about Shmuel Shah? You know he's uh he's hearing our prayers, man. You know, and and uh, we in the will of you how about Shmuel Shah? You know, we making every man a liar. We're making every man a liar, man. You know, but you got it. Out. Yeah, I had a quick one. Go ahead. Yeah, the bag of brother about the unbelievers. This um second Ezra fifteen and three and four. He say, fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Mm -hmm. And that's you non-believers, man. We don't care that you don't believe, man, because we ultimately know that this is this message only pertains to the elect, man. Mm -hmm. That's who we out here to preach to. Go, go back on that. What you, you got? No, I'm finna get. I, I, I got you. I'm gonna go back on it. So like, 
Just continue, continue on on that one. Oh, yeah, this um second edge is 15 and 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. And that's just facts. All the unfaithfulness shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. You see? You know, and, and, and you know, you like the brother brought out earlier, man. You wouldn't believe, you just don't fucking believe. That's just a lot, you know? You know, and, it's on you. You know, but we out here again, you know, the, 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 to fish, you know, amongst, you know, the, the, the so-called Black Latinos and Native Americans, but the Lord is going to gather his elect within that, man. Mm -hmm. You see? And when you throw a, a, a net out there in the sea, you got to consider, you're going to bring a whole lot of shit in, man. You're going to bring fucking boots, McDonald's cups, yeah. all that shit, man. You're going to bring all that shit in, man. You know? But see, again, the Lord is only, you know, he's seeking out for his, his elect, man. You men, women, and children, you know, who, who ultimately, you know, a believe in terms of the message, you know, you know, the 144,000, you know, the government body and the believers as well, the one third, you see, you know, you got something, bro? It'll come. You got it. Just to back y'all up, man, it is only for the elect. And that's just to show you how compassionate the Lord is, man. He giving you a fair warning. Mm -hmm. It's up to you if you're going to believe it or not, yeah. you know, but it's like the brother says, it's only for the elect. This Romans yeah. 11 and 7. What then? Israel have not attained that That's which it. he seeker for. That's it. You know, and, and you see these niggas, they believe anything. They'll believe Buddhism, Christianity. Niggas think they Muslim. They'll believe all that, but they still ain't got the truth. So like, yes. I may say, that like the brother quoted earlier, you know, uh, through spirit of power, how about Shemiel Shere would make every man a liar. Mm, yeah. You know, because what? Co consider, you know, they, they seek out for all these other things and shit, these other do these philosophies and doctrines and shit, man. But the, they're, they're not truthful according to the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. You see, you got it, bro. But the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Meaning, blinded. So like if I may say, meaning only the elect is going to pertain the 100% wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man, of these scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because our people ultimately look for some form of comfort, man. But only the elect has been granted that comfort, man. Mm -hmm. You know? That's why Yahweh Shah said, peace I leave unto you. Mm. You know? Meaning that this was a separation from the beginning. Even Yahweh Shah was about separating, man. You know? He Yahweh Shah knew the ones that would get it and those that would not get it, man. He knew who he was talking to, man. You know? But go ahead, I. You got it. You got it, You got you got some else you want to bring it out? Yeah, come on, Yeah, bring it out. Bring it out real quick. All right. Oh, you got it? Yeah. Oh no no, I ain't got you got it, you got it out. No, go, go I'm gonna get it for you. Okay, go. Alright. You got it. Alright, this book uh Zachariah. It's a lot of bear with me. Let me get this one. You got it out. Kind of uh I'm getting in there. Zachariah, uh I think that's Let's see. So uh, I, got I got it. Words. I got it. I got it. Okay, come on. Uh, this book is Zechariah, chapter 13, verse 8. No matter if, uh, so like, before I bring this out, go and bring yours out. Because it may be, I'm going to close out with this one. No, I ain't, you got it. Right. There was okay, yeah, all right. Uh, Zechariah 13 and 8, it says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein. So there is a lot to you niggas that, that refuses to listen and hearken to the message, man. You're going to die. You're part of the two-thirds, man. Therefore, like the title of the lesson, your iniquity is going to be a breach ready to fall. You know, eventually it's going to catch back on to, catch back up to you. And it's going to be by the what? The way of the sword, you know, which could be the famine, the pestilence, teeth the wild beasts, Esau, Edom. Or ultimately, the thermonuclear missiles, man. I would say apparitions. Yeah, anything, you know. Anything to t knock your ass off the damn block, <laughs> man. You know. But all, um, Lord willing, was edified, man. With that, that's all we have, man. We're going to end it all by giving all praises. Honor and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem, Rukah Kadash. Number one to the head elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who want to teach well. I also want to do shout out to the old for that, to you, I can feel I quite through a sincere and it's true. As well as believers of the swear, but not just believers, but doers as well. 
And with that, we'd like to say Shalom. Shalom. DTA. A ball for ball. Soon.